Hi guys, thanks very much for joining me. Um, I'm going to do a little review on some scissors that I bought recently. Uh, but before that, uh, the reason that's prompted me to put the scissors up is uh, I've done a little review on this, it was, it was quite popular. Obviously we're all getting a wee bit older and folks' eyesight's failing, so I think there was a, quite a lot of interest in this and uh, for the price it was great value. I'll stick a little um, information bar up there if you want to have a quick look at this review if you missed it the first time round. So basically, I was at the BFFI and wandering around all the fly tyres and there was an Italian chap selling some of these. And I was going to buy some, me and my friend uh, Sean Doyle, we were at the counter and between us he gave us a great price but unfortunately we didn't have any money. We're, we're obviously modern gents and uh, we take our plastic everywhere. So we couldn't buy them at the time. When I came back I'd mentioned in one of my videos that I needed new scissors and that I'd seen these Italian scissors and uh, one, of, one of the YouTube followers was kind enough to give me a link to the Amazon site and I'll do likewise. So I bought these, they were around £18.95, something like that at the time of purchase and they've been the finest scissors I've ever owned and I've spent a lot more money on scissors over the years uh, and anyone that's been tying for a while will understand the importance of having really sharp scissors. These go to a fine point and they work great. They're not so good in the middle actually. For cutting marabou and stuff I use different scissors but for the fine point, for trimming away your thread, close in work, superb. I was so impressed with these I ended up purchasing a set of the curved blade ones and I think these will be ideal for muddler heads, um, trimming up the wings on spent flies and these were about 16, 17 quid. Again, I'll, I'll leave the link in the descriptions below, but an absolutely gleaming product. Um, Italian embroidery scissors they are, made by a company called Pentex. Now, so that's the scissors. Uh, there's not much more to be said about that really. Uh, some of you have uh, sent in lots of videos about the whip finisher and uh, you're going to see me use this a lot more. I found one that I can just about, I'll say get on with, that would be a lie. I'm, uh, it's a love-hate relationship. I love it when I actually get a whip finish. I, I don't like it so much when I don't. Especially if I've tied a really intricate fly and it falls to bits on me because of this piece of, no, no, I'm not going to say that. This really good tool has been improperly used by an idiot. But uh, I'm getting to grips on it. Now, lots of people sent me lots of different videos and uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. Thanks very much. But the one that um, really got me to grips with it was Dave Downey's. And uh, what I'll do is I'll stick another little Insta bar up now so that you can go and visit Dave's YouTube channel and uh, have a look at how he he showed people how to use the whip finish tool and that's what got me into it. Now I, I kind of understand the mechanics of the whip finish and I, I do see the benefit of it And uh, but this is the only one. I've tried other ones uh, and I just can't get on with them. So this is the one I'm, I've started to use and the videos for now on where I can I'll be using the whip finish tool. I hope you're all keeping safe from the nasty virus that's kicking round, staying indoors away for folks and I'll see you all next time in the time video on Tuesday. Thanks for watching.